Touchmaster 2 for the Nintendo DS. 20 all new games where they claim that starting is simple, stopping is impossible. That's a bold claim. That's like saying that Touchmaster 2 is an addictive drug. It's like that episode of Star Trek where Wesley Crusher finds out that the crew in the Enterprise is playing a video game that's actually like an alien thing and warping everybody's mind and, and Ashley Judd was in that episode. But she was hot in the Star Trek outfit. This is Touchmaster 2 for the Nintendo DS, a somewhat silly title for a video game, but better than the alternative, a collection of mini games all using the Nintendo DS stylus. Maybe they could have come up with an acronym for that. This is basically a collection of a whole bunch of different smaller games. Many of them are puzzle games, word games, and card games. The highlight of Touchmaster 2 is the word scramble version of Rampage, where you unscramble words and then, I guess that would be George, jumps up on the building and punches out the levels. This was actually a lot of fun and it's challenging. There's words in there that, you would have, that you'd never expect in a video game. Like pesto. Who puts pesto in a word scramble? It's great in pasta. If you're looking for a game to keep you occupied on a long flight with a variety of different little games, this might be one to look at. Some of them are really good, some of them aren't so well done. The bowling, for instance, I think was just wasting space. The driving game is kind of neat, this, this reminds me of a cross between River Raid and Spy Hunter. You control the car with your stylus and try to go as far as possible, it's really no more complicated than an old school video game, an old school uh, Atari 2600 game. There's some fairly creative ideas in here, like the uh, one game where you're supposed to find the differences between two pictures. And this one was tough because the screen resolution on the DS was just not was just not high enough to really do that right. Because there'd be like one branch missing from a tree, and you'd strain your eyes trying to find it. Some of the card games were pretty cool. I like the one where you try to find the cards next to each other that equal 11. There's a little adventure game where you have your guy running around dungeons. Reminded me of Gauntlet somewhat. These are all fairly simple video games by today's standard, but you do get 20 games for a reasonable price here in Touchmaster 2, and, and it plays out pretty much like what you see on screen. One of my favorite games was this one where the picture is revealed to you, and then you can see there's a certain number of spaces available to type in the name of the object in the picture. I was probably best at this game. I, I really enjoyed this one. The game awards you for high scores, and like every other game coming out these days, you can win trophies, and it gives you a little trophy on screen to make you feel better about yourself. There's all kinds of neat stuff in here, and if you look at the menu screen at the beginning of the review, you'll see a list of every one of the different games. If only they could have consulted me, I would have I would have made them an excellent picture reveal, classic game room inspired. With objects and words like beer, hot dog, flower, plasma auto rifle, army of ninja assassins hellbent on world domination, giant transformable robot with lots of guns. Disembodied, headless, transdimensional mutant monster attacking people with chainsaws. Magic cloud of invisible vapor. That would be the hardest one to show on screen. <laughs> 